Okay, what we've done here is we've logged on to the powertrain control module, okay, and we've hooked up our scanner to it, and the first thing we do is we check for any kind of diagnostic trouble codes. And one code does come up, and it is completely related to the transmission. It's a PO732, it says incorrect to ratio, gear to ratio. Now, automatically, this tells me that the computer recognizes the fact that when it was supposed to be in second gear, it never achieved second gear. The computer knows what gear is supposed to be based on the ratios of the transmission's gearing and it's programmed into the computer. Yeah, it's a relation of speed to the gearing. Right, from the input and the output shaft. Right. Okay, so the computer can recognize the fact versus how many RPMs the input shaft is turning to the output shaft and it knows what gear it's in. Mm -hmm. So it recognized that it never attained second gear. And this now automatically tells me that the customer's complaint of the RPM staying high completely correlates with this because when he's used to it to change his second gear, it, did it shift. didn't. So when we drive the vehicle, we look at our data and we check to make sure that all of our input speed sensors and output speed sensors and all of the computer's sensors that it relies on for data are functioning. First thing on the list here is the vehicle speed sensor, which tells the computer that we're actually moving and how fast we're moving. Okay, so starting from zero, now that the vehicle's rolling, we can see that it's going to start to climb. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start a road test, and we're going to see the here that the computer's commanded first gear, which is where we're supposed to be at a, at a standstill. So we're going to start to drive, and we're going to monitor all of our data and see when the computer commands the gear to change it to second, which is right there. And it hasn't shifted. Second gear is there. The transmission actually has not shifted. The RPMs are still staying high as if it wasn't first. And the overdrive light on has begun to flash. Okay, the overdrive light on, on this particular vehicle is an indicator to the owner that there's a problem. As mm -hmm. if a check engine light would come on for the transmission controls, the overdrive off light flashes. Okay, so what we've determined from this short little road test is the computer had commanded second gear. We did not feel any kind of shift. And we've witnessed that the RPM stayed high. Okay, this all confirms that we actually have a problem with the transmission not responding to the computer's commands. So in other words, what we found out was that the computer's actually functioning correctly. And all the electronics uh, are functioning correctly, correctly. But the problem is, is a hardware problem being the transmission. That's correct. Interesting. In, in, all, in not all cases are the same. In some cases you will see that th there's probably a problem with either the sensor or the vehicle speed sensor or something like that is not functioning or staying at zero where the computer won't even recognize the fact sometimes, for example, that the vehicle is actually moving, which will never command it to change a gear. So it doesn't know. Right. But we've confirmed by watching the data and looking at the, all our sensors and watching the computer command the gear that it's actually the transmission that's not responding so, in this case. Our next step in this vehicle is to call the owner and get authorization to pull the transmission down. That's correct. Right. And now when we pull it down, we're probably going to find what we found in that other one, which may be a, a burn band or something like that. That's right.